Welcome, welcome to the show, my friends. We're so glad you're with us. And with just a few days before we sit down to give thanks over a delicious feast, I'm still deciding the best part of the meal. My opinion, it's all about the sides. And all this week, we're cooking sides with New Day staff. Today, production specialist Derek Price is showing us how to make mac and cheese with his spin on it. But before we get to that, you have a cocktail you think is quite divine to start with cooking, correct? I do. This is uh, an aperitif. Uh, this is all about digestion, in my opinion. So let me get that. want to make sure your stomach is good to go so you have room so you can taste everything. This is ouzo. Ouzo. Greek liquor, aperitif. It's going to taste like black licorice. Ain't hope. Hope you're into it. I know you are, Amity. You know I love me some black But licorice. not everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my great grandma gave me this when I was a baby. It's good. You know, when she didn't stop me, she didn't make me stop crying by kissing. She gave me Uzo. Uzo? Uzo. Okay. Ooh. It's got Ooh. a little kick, but it clears the sinuses. It mm. will uh, help for later on. All right. Well, so, that actually is quite delicious going down. All right. So I'm mac and cheese basically started with the cheese sauce. Okay. So we had to start with a roux. Um, roux is basically butter, flour as a thickener. Mm -hmm. um, with the roux, you kind of stir, slowly stir in your flour till it kind of bubbles up. It takes like three to five minutes. Then you start adding milk. Texture will change and then you slowly add milk. I did a cup and a half of milk in this. Okay. Then I changed it up, went with a cup and a half of beer. Oh. I like it. Okay. And then once I added that in, then I add the cheese. And then you slowly add. But the whole time you have to be stirring it, right? Because Correct. if it doesn't keep getting stirred, it kind of. Yep. This is about a 15, 20 minute video sped up while I'm making the sauce. Wow. And I would caution everyone to um, pre-shred cheese beforehand. And then you're going to see that I've did vegetables for this. I cut the vegetables and shred the cheese about the same time okay. before I start cooking. So you prep everything first because if not, it's, this could get ugly. It's going to be, you're going to be making stuff in a hurry and no one nope. wants to do that during Thanksgiving. It should be a nice uh, Especially if you've time. had a few glasses of ozo. Yeah. Like you need to make sure you're prepared first. Yep. How many times did you make this before you finally perfected it? Um, I think I'm still searching for perfection. Oh, I like this. Um, but that's because of the vegetables I've been adding. I've started adding potatoes into mm -hmm, this dish. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. And I think the next time I'm going to do this, we're going to go with poblano oh, peppers so being roasted. Deliciousness. So, yep. I roasted vegetables. This is cauliflower, romanesco. Um, it's kind of the broccoli cauliflower mix. Which is so the pretty. Vegetable. It just it looks is. so pretty, Romanesco. You know what I mean? It's just such a pretty looking vegetable. It's a vegetable. It's not a plant. It's a veggie. It's a veggie. <laughs> I almost said plant. Um, and right. I like that you're using vegetables instead of the traditional noodle for mac and cheese. Yes. Because let's be frank, we get enough carbs on Thanksgiving. Sometimes we need and, to lighten it up a bit. And the person I'm cooking for sitting next to me is gluten free, so I take that into consideration. You're a good guy. All right, so next thing. Okay. If you can cut me yeah. about a quarter, just like, give me a little just chunk a quarter? of that. Okay. Um, we're going to throw that. it in this pan. About that? Yep. And then what we're going to be doing here is toasting and slightly frying our panko. Ooh, panko uh, too. Yeah, which it doesn't seem super necessary, but I've made it a few times not doing this step and it is sadly missed. Ah, and so it's at key. The end, it just changes the flavor of your panko just enough so it's the nice delightly, delight crunch that you get. Well, you know, and I love that you got gluten-free panko bread crumbs, which I didn't even know existed. And it has like a lot of, if you, if you have another, uh, other allergies, it includes that too, which is kind of great. So you get these kind of all buttery and toasty. Yep, and then we mm. put them on top. Um, so I wanted to toast those. We'll get into this. Uh, so, is there an amount, or you just say like go for it? I say just go for it. Right. See, that's what I like cooking with you. Snow rolls. 
Yeah. We do what we want. That's right. So I'm going to put this into the baking dish that I want. Get this nice and spread out. Got my cheese. It's looking nice and warm. Y'all, it smells so good. I can actually smell the beer that you put in it. And I notice you have three different kinds of cheeses, too. You did Gruyere, Havarti, and what is the other one? Beecher's? Yep, a nice sharp cheddar. I like the tangy and the mixture of the different flavors. Mm -hmm. I try to go with cheeses that are all the same color so my cheese doesn't look weird. Smart, smart. Yep. My um, cheese doesn't look weird. That is smart. And then... Once we get this nice and toasted up, let's crank that heat. We're still working on our new range here, but um, it's pretty good to see how nice and like fragrant all of this is getting. Um, and then I've got a few extra special seasonings I've added to this. So in this you can smell, there's a little bit of liquid smoke. Oh. I added to, and I added a little bit more of the chili pepper than I have in the recipe. Okay. Um, I just wanted something that's going to kick a little bit more. Um, I like that. I like liquid smoke. That's always a great secret that people put in. All right. Well, let's let's assemble this. We only have about a minute left. Let's do it. I don't want to burn Take myself. This. Trying to get these guys nice and buttery up. All right. So we just pour the cheese sauce onto this. Mm, that looks so good. And even if the Save butter isn't bit. quite melted, I mean, it's going to melt while it's baking, right? Correct. And we just put it on top? Yep. And oh, I don't think I put enough in it. I didn't put enough in. You know what? But that's okay. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It looks delicious. And you know what? Somebody makes this for you. They put a lot of heart, time, money, and effort into it. So Derek, you were invited to my house. I just want to let you know that gonna be crazy. All right, I can't wait to try this. This is gonna be the bomb. And Derek is sharing his mac and cheese recipe and you're gonna find it on our website. And later in the show, we're gonna pop this puppy in the oven. Yep, for a half hour. For a half hour and we're gonna taste test it. And coming up tomorrow, it's not technically a side dish per se, but we are allowing it. I'm making producer Rebecca's famous turkey sugar cookies. But do they actually contain turkey? That is the question that will be answered tomorrow on New Day.